Und plötzlich höre ich ein Knacken und es gibt keinen Sinn. War abgefallen. Ja, das kann man hier sogar ganz gut sehen. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today we are looking at the Schiffer Snorkel and the Odyssey, this one has been on. The Schiffer Snorkel is a vintage fountain pen. It is no longer manufactured. This one was from 1952 to 1959. Schaeffer had 13 different models on the market of the snorkel. And this one would have to be the snorkel sentinel. As you can see, this one has a lot of wear and tear. As you can see, this one has a lot of wear and tear. Already when I bought it. The snorkel sentinel has a plastic barrel and a metal cap. Clip and trim ring are gold colored. As you can see here, The finial is badly dented. Significant damage. The end of the shaft has a ripping. This is because the snorkel is a piston fountain pen with an ink sack inside. Under the screwed cap here is a plastic grip section and a two-tone gold nib. This nib is set differently than modern nibs, as you can clearly see when you turn the pen. And you also notice the name sack here. A snorkel, which can be seen here in the middle of the feet. The special feature is that this snorkel extends forward when you turn the end of the shaft. This allows you to pick up even the smallest remnants from the inkwell. When the snorkel is extended, the ink is drawn up by pulling out and pushing in the end of the shaft. Then you retract the snorkel again. A very interesting technique, which makes it special, simply the snorkel. Here are some details of the snorkel. The typical Schaeffer white dot. The ribbing at the end of the barrel. And the nip with a hard hole. And the point why this one was quite cheap. The nip was bent. You can see it quite clearly in these shots. The nip was also no longer resting on the feet. Writing was no longer possible. Here also the snorkel in detail. The fountain pen worked and the ink sack was already replaced. But it did not write because of the nip. Now something like this is not the end of a fountain pen. The nip masters who take care of such cases. They can fix a defective nib or improve nibs that write. So I packed up my snorkel and sent it to ML Nib Works, a nib master from Austria. By the way, you can find this video linked in the description. An excerpt. Feel free to watch the whole video on his site, unfortunately in German. Plötzlich höre ich das Knacken. Und da habe ich schon gedacht, oh oh, Schock, das war's vielleicht sogar. Wollte nicht zu voreilig sein. Hat mir unter dem Mikroskop angeschaut und tatsächlich einer von den zwei Seiten des Federkorns war abgefallen. Ja, das kann man hier sogar ganz gut sehen. Und ja, Schock natürlich. Erstmal Schock. You may have heard it. The nip was broken. This is very annoying. Especially with a vintage fountain pen. Something like this almost never happens, but in exceptions it can happen. Here it happened. But this way I can show it to you for once. I have to say that ML Nibworks contacted me immediately and we discussed how to proceed. Finally, the nib was removed from another defective Schaeffer snorkel, repaired and reinstalled in my snorkel. Does this work? Absolutely. And the Schaeffer snorkel now writes like a dream. Would I send fountain pens to ML Nibworks again? Absolutely. Because the Nibmaster is by no means an unknown. He is gladly and rightly recommended and delivers good work. But before we dive any further, let's compare the size of the snorkel with other modern fountain pens. Namely with the Visconti Homo sapiens, a Waldmann Commander, a Pelican M800 Blue Blue, a Clio Scribent Aura Laguna Dragon, 
and Alami Zafari. As you can see, the snorkel fits perfectly into the picture, no matter if with, without or with the cap posted. Also, in the second size comparison with the Statline Itium Lignum, a Diplomat Aero, Akaveku Student, Cross Century 2, and a Diplomat Excellent Wave. Vintage fountain pens don't fall out of line size wise. But this one fell, definitely. And probably more than once. You've seen the dent in the cap and the nip was bent when I bought it. That made it quite interesting price-wise and I bought it. Getting the dent out is not easy. The risk of the metal breaking is very high, but I can live with that. Only it should write. It didn't with the old nip, but with the new nip it does. One drop of bitterness remains. The old nip was a gold nip marked Australia. The new one is from the USA, but also a gold nip. Both Sheffer and both from original snorkel, but just different place of manufacture. That does not make the nip write badly, absolutely not. And the old nip was also kindly sent to me. It now serves as a replacement. It simply belongs to the fountain pen. Even if a different, well writing nip is now installed, how well does it write? Here's a writing sample. It is a nib that can be classified approximately as fine to extra fine. And with that, it can still achieve a little line variance. With the Herbine Rouge Grenat filled in here, it really writes beautifully. The nib glides smoothly over the paper. The ink flow is good, just the way I wanted the fountain pen to be. That's the advantage of having the fountain pen at a nib master. He can certainly adjust the writing behavior according to your own wishes, within limits of course. And I continue to trust Emma Nipworks. As previously mentioned, this was a misfortune, as it is exceptional. You can repair a lot of damage to nips, or even regrind a nip thickness. So if you ever have a nip that is damaged, or you want a different nip with, feel free to contact a nip master. For example, Emma Nipworks. We decided together to show this openly. In fact, he makes quite occasionally a video. Because it is important to show that he can repair nips. But also that it can happen that a nip breaks in the process. No matter how rarely this happens. In any case, if a damaged nip should be repaired. When simply grinding the nip, for example to change the ink flow or to change the nip width, the danger, which is very small anyway, is even smaller to non-existent. What counts for me is that the fountain pen writes again, and it writes beautifully. I am completely satisfied. Oh, and the snorkel itself is simply a unique fountain pen. This snorkel is a great way to get the last bits of ink out of Inkwell. I hope you enjoyed seeing such a special fountain pen. And from the ordeal was happy end for this one. If you liked the video, I would be very happy about a like. Also, subscribe to my channel if you are interested in fountain pens and everything around it. Because the next video is already in the works. See you next time.